Hello, my name is Jairo Carmona. I'm from Medellin, Colombia. I've been tattooing for the last 16 years and I specialize in illustrative colorful tattoos. My first tattoo experience in Colombia was doing a small simple tattoos. It was a process evolving always from the very simple stuff to a bit more complicated. Then it was always starting from lines and uh, blocks of colors and very simple stuff. I always wanted to be a tattoo artist because I enjoy drawing. I got my first tattoo in Medellin, Colombia when I was 18 years old by Andres Felipe Rodas. He was one of the oldest tattooists in town, also the first person that gave me an apprenticeship. I don't believe that you just get one apprenticeship. I think you go and learn towards the years and you never stop. But yeah, that was the first tattoo I got, like something small in my back. The first and biggest challenge that I faced when I first moved to England was the language barrier, but I'm a very social person, then it was a matter of months, but that was pretty much it. My style is a representation of who I am. I always wanted to create something that represents who I am, and it took me years. Probably around 10 years of tattooing, I decided to go backwards and have a look at my early stages in university and see all the influence that I got from the graffiti artists, from the graphic designers, and just build it into the tattooing. That whole mash of things became my style that is a very colorful, bright and friendly style. Morningstar Tattoo Studio is a private studio in the heart of London specialized in colorful, illustrative tattoos. We host some of the most amazing artists from around the world, specialized in all different kinds of styles, mostly realistic, dark style, anything that has creativity and imagination going through, we're gonna have it here. I love every tattoo that I do, but I do have preference for bigger pieces. I have done one whole mermaid of a sleeve that I think is one of the most significant pieces I have done because of the anatomy and the way that is all positioned in the body. I think that's the thing that I want to go more towards, like big pieces with a lot of detail. There is many kind of styles that uh, makes me interested of, like for example, any expressionism art, abstract art, I find it super intriguing how it could be put into tattoos because we also have to understand that this is a technique of drawing but it has different varieties like uh, and things that can change, for example, the skin and everything. Also, I'm very big influence from cartoons, like from anime to like just Adult Swim or Rick and Morty and big cartoons like that. It brings all the happiness to do stuff like it. I'm a very simple person. My hobbies outside of tattooing are drawing, painting and doing graffitis and watching TV. I think social media is a great way for the client to understand what the tattooist does, what style is specializing on. It's obviously something that we see in a screen, then it can be modified and it can be a bit tricky to understand if you're not a tattooist. But I think it did help at the very beginning. I think we should concentrate more in what you do and go towards doing more analog stuff, painting and keep not Instagram and social media is not everything. Yeah.
There is a lot of influence from here and back home. Back home, I have one of the biggest influences I had was Cesar Figueroa. He's a graffiti artist, tattoo artist that's been tattooing forever. Like, he was one of my biggest influences and I would love to collaborate with him. Joe Capobianco is also big, big influence in my style. I love experimenting with new styles and towards the years I have been working with a lot of realistic artists, Japanese artists that had shown me so many different perspectives of the tattoo industry that I would love to explore a bit more. Um, obviously keeping all that colorful and happy part of it. Today I have a very special client. It's a person that has been getting tattooed by me for a few years. She understands pretty well my style. Today was a memorable tattoo from her childhood sort of house in the mountains. And I love to do anything out of the common, you know? This is something that only means for her. And I think just putting my own style into it gives more satisfaction for me and for my clients than anything else. Christmas in Colombia is warm. It's 27 degrees and there's no snow ever. Definitely, it's different. Like I live in London, then a lot of people go home, then it's pretty lonely. <laughs> My favorite things of Christmas is definitely the colors of it. I think my favorite Christmas film is The Elf, because I love Will Ferrell. Hmm, if I could have a Christmas present related to tattoo, I think, yeah, like, I don't know, I don't have any ideas. Oh yeah, a wireless machine! <laughs> That's the best, okay. If I was thinking to get anything for Christmas, I think the first thing on mine, it will be a wireless tattoo machine. And thanks for watching everybody, have a lovely Christmas and I hope you have a very colorful 2020.